Let's start at the beginning of a not so busy week as President Buhari met with the leadership of the Nigeria Union of Teachers, NUT, on Tuesday at State House Abuja. The meeting afforded the president the opportunity to unfold his administration's plans to engage more qualified teachers to increase the teacher to pupil ratio in the country. Government is going merely beyond acknowledging that Nigeria has a deficit of teachers and is tackling the problem through the NPAR Teach Volunteer Scheme under its National Social Investment Program. I want to take this opportunity to ask all members of Nigerian Union of Teachers to support these programs and engage as many qualified and willing graduates to enroll in the teaching profession. The delegation led by the NUT National President Nasser Idris appealed to the President to assent to the bills on teachers' retirement age and the teachers' special salary structure. There were some unhealthy developments that have led to the acute shortage of teachers across the country, which include annual retirement of teachers from the service across the state without any recruitment of teachers to take the vacancies created therefrom. On Wednesday was Armed Forces Remembrance Day and President Buhari led all heads of the three arms of government to the West Bay Ceremony at the National Arcade Abuja. But as it is every year, attention would turn to widows and dependents left behind by fallen heroes. Is government really living up to its responsibilities? I just told you about the DIPOA um, and um, Defence Headquarters partnership in providing succor in terms of provision of food and um, other provisions for widows of fallen heroes and their families. We usually get uh, assistance and help from the wife of the service ships. The widows would rather that there be peace in Nigeria and by extension the world. Once there's peace, you have personally, you even have peace of mind when there's peace everywhere. So, plan we should live together and love one another. And as if the week would have gender issues stamped forcibly on it, President Buhari on Thursday promised to sustain ongoing efforts of government to end child marriage and improve girl-child education in the country. He spoke in Abuja when he commissioned the headquarters building of the Ministry of Women Affairs. A key priority of our government is the development and implementation of social inclusion and economic sustenance policies. With the enormous responsibility before it, the ministry would still reiterate the age-long cry for the president to appoint more women to leadership positions in his government. We will truly appreciate the appointment of more women to heads of boards and power status, more women ambassadors, and more women as chief executive of agencies. And back to the security meeting on Friday, the chief of air staff, Air Marshal Sadiq Abubakar, who briefed newsmen at State House Abuja after the meeting, appealed to Nigerians and other stakeholders to join hands with the armed forces of Nigeria and other security and intelligence agencies to ensure that the country is secure. Rather than looking at other methods that are likely going to negate uh, the uh, national policing and um, community policing uh, policy that the federal government has approved. What we expect is for all stakeholders, local governments, state governments, other stakeholders to join hands with us and uh, let us work together to ensure that our country is secure. The chief of air staff expressed satisfaction with the support of the federal government to the armed forces and other security agencies in terms of procurement of equipment. Substantial number of this equipment are expected uh, by the end of February. Uh, some of the equipment we are acquiring have uh, started arriving. For the Nigerian Air Force, two helicopter gunships have arrived on the 15th of January, and we are now in the process of putting them together, which will add to whatever we have. As activities continue to build up gradually in the new year, the controversy over Operation Amotekun is expected to continue in the new week.